Eight days from Election Day and candidates are in the home stretch of their campaigns, making promises to win the votes of the American people. So we're taking a look back at some of the promises that Donald Trump made in 2016 and what he delivered while in office. For that, we want to bring in Yahoo Finance's Ben Workshall to give us a closer look at this. And Ben, what are we looking at? Yeah, Sean, I'm a real glutton for punishment. So I decided in addition <laughs> to the five speeches we get every day here now to go back to 2016. So what I looked at was Donald Trump's speeches in October of 2016, so eight years ago this month, specifically on trade and tariffs, because that's a big issue this time around. And what was notable is to me is how many of Trump's promises he was making then he kept. Um, I, I isolated five different kind of concrete promises, and he kept three and a half of them, which is way higher than his batting average on other topics. He promised to do tariffs on companies that cheat. That's obviously the biggest one. He, as we all remember, that was a big part of his his term in office. He promised to rene renegotiate NAFTA, get out of the TPP. He did both of those things. He also promised the one he didn't deliver on too much was threats against specific companies, which is interesting because he's he's kind of making similar threats this time. But the overall picture you get from watching those speeches is that when on trade, at least Trump kind of means what he says. He really kind of go, follows through on what he says. And when he talks about tariffs, he talks about tariffs because he wants to do tariffs. And what he's promising this time around is a much bigger new slate of a new slate of items. He's promising one expert estimates it's 10 times what he actually implemented in office. Mm -hmm. He wants 60 percent tariffs on China. He wants 10 percent across the board tariffs on, on, on the rest of the world. So he's it, it, when you look back at his previous record, the kind of contention that this is a negotiating tactic, this is bluster, kind of rings a little less true because his record is, is that he kind of delivers on what he says on trade. So Ben, real quick, then what are the implications of that just in terms of corporate America for Americans out there? Lots of talk about tariffs and ultimately what that could mean for maybe reigniting some of those inflationary pressures. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the things that economists say a lot um, is, that, is that this could reignite inflation. What what what's what's expected to happen and the big question according to experts i talked to is basically trump's going to try it if he wins he'll he'll sort of aim for this the question is whether the courts intervene to block it or water it down congress has ceded most of their authority on this so the president can act pretty unilaterally the question is whether it kind of gets caught up in the courts in a way that sort of that makes the tariffs less intense than what trump wants but but the overall picture i think for corporate america is that trump if he wins is going to try it the question is kind of how much washington lets him do all right, Ben, always great to get your insight. Thanks so much for hopping on with us here. Sure thing.